Silas and Elizabeth are married and in love. Their union is the envy of all. Their pastor, Pastor Henry saw a vision where their love and union got deeply tempted. Before he traveled abroad on a missionary journey, he invited them for advice and asked them to pray more and stay close. Something will attempt to go wrong, but fervent prayers can stop it. He traveled finally and the rest will unfold. enemy come between us. Amen. Let the power of the enemy not have any effect on this family world. Rulers of darkness, spiritual Amen. wickedness in high and low places. Amen. We come against all of them in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, anywhere they are planning against this family, whether they are men, women, wherever they may be, Father God, scatter them and their evil plans in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. The word Amen. says that surely they shall gather. Yes, so. Lord, let them gather for their own doom. Amen. Rulers of darkness. Amen. We, against this family, we come against them. Amen. told you what my final word is. You don't want to go? No, I don't want to go. I want to have this baby here. Okay, but, but listen, my dear. You, you know what you went through the last time you had a baby? When we had Lane. You know the, the medical personnel there? Basically, they virtually... They, they were the cause of what happened. I don't want a repeat of that carelessness again. Sweetheart. What happened to me could have happened to anyone, anywhere in the world. Okay? It was an accident. You know we have great doctors here. It was just a careless act. And God has shown us mercy by allowing me to conceive again. And the same God who's made it possible will also make it possible for me to have this baby safely here in Nigeria. No stories. Mm? So right. that's my final word. I'm having this baby here. Besides, I want us to use the money for something else. Something better. Let's save the money. It's okay, my dear. I, mm -hmm. I, I totally agree with you. I, I respect your choice. I mean, it's your choice. I wanted you to go abroad and have the baby, but you say you must have the baby here. That's okay. You're my wife. And so I have to respect your choice. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> Life. That's why I love you, you know that. Many married women today, instead of enduring, are enduring their marriages. They married what they called the wrong man. Many women pray for their husbands to die, for they believe his life is worthless. There is no love. But Elizabeth is different. She married the man she loves. The man that loves her even the more. She calls him hero. And to her, he is everything.
have done without your service. I bless the day I met you. Thank you. So much alcohol, especially during office hours. But your special friend, you know, can break any rules. Thank you, Lady Thank you very much, Lady Marion. But what I face now is mightier than alcohol. Oh. Lady Marion, I need a man in my life. I need a man to start me up. And so far, I haven't seen any. Oh, Gina. Do you think you really need a man to help you stand? My dear, I sincerely do not think so. You are sounding that way because you are made already. I mean, my dear friend, take a look at you. See the way you are shining. Look at your jewelry. See your, see your handbags. Look at your office. You remember the role Alajuma played in your eyes? Hmm? Truly, yes. I know we don't need men to stand in life, but we need them to start. <laughs> Hello, sir. Good morning. Uh, Mrs. Marion, are you in your office? Yes, sir. I'm in the office. Um, is everything all right? Good. Something came up, okay? I wish to cancel the overseas trip for my wife. What came up, sir? Back up the money we have already spent and no refundable deposit, sir. I don't know how we are going to handle all those. And never mind. Don't worry about the money. I'm not even asking you for a refund. Can I send my secretary to come over and pick her passport? When will you, when, when can she come? Uh, mm, sir, you don't need to send your secretary to me. It is against the rule of my company giving travel documents to third parties. I will bring them to you tomorrow, sir. I'm likely going to be in Abuja tomorrow. So, um, what about me coming over in the afternoon to get it? Um, okay, in that case, I will bring them to you this evening. Oh, great. Great. Thank you so much, Mrs. Mario. I appreciate it. You're welcome, sir. Have a lovely day, sir. If you could sign, sir, I will dispatch the data immediately. Why did you remove your jacket? I removed it so I could type faster. That way, I'll get this letter ready immediately. Go and dress properly. Go and dress properly. His name is Mr. Salah Sokocha. He's the CEO of Socha Oye Servicing Company. Mm, he's a married man anyway, with a beautiful daughter. As we speak now, his wife is pregnant. He's a dedicated Christian. Can vouch for him. Oh, please. How can you vouch for a man? Mr. Nkosha is not just a man to be any man. I am telling you about a man I know too well. The beauty of a woman does not move him. There is nothing I have not done to make him look my way. Nothing has happened. He's always talking like a monk. So, why are you then telling me about him? When I said I needed a man, I didn't say a monk. A real man. <laughs> my dear, forget about his behavior and intimidation as a monk. If you can get Mr. Nkocha to be the man, then you should be sure that you have the real man. He's not just a millionaire, but he is a millionaire that spends. Are you really sure of what you just said? I hope he's exactly... <laughs> I hope he's exactly what you just said. I am telling you, I've tried. Thank you, sir. Go back here, Mirabel. You know, the labor market is saturated. It is filled with young, fresh graduates who are pushed into that labor market every month. And most of them are not as lucky as you are. Don't allow me to push you back into that labor market again. I'm sorry, sir, but what have I done, sir? 
This is an oil servicing firm and not an entertainment outfit. Your dress code remains the same as was handed down to you on the day your letter of appointment was given to you. Strictly official and corporate. Nothing less. Make sure what happened a couple of minutes ago doesn't repeat itself because if it does, you will regret the consequences. I'm sorry, sir. Good. Hello? Hello? That's a Shirley Silas in Quarter of Sasha Limited. Am I right? Yes, you are correct. Who is speaking, please? That is not a very good way to answer a lady. Can you be more romantic, please? Who are you? And what can I do for you? What do you You're want? You're sounding so mean. You have not even allowed me to say what I want to say. Well, I am just a secret admirer. Someone who loves the maturity you exhibit. Suffice it to say that I have already made up my mind to love you. But as you are sounding this way, um, I guess I'll call you back when you're less tense. No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, please. Hold on, I have to come in here because I, if I allow you to continue, you will keep prattling like that. Listen to me, please. Tell those who sent you that I'm not that kind of man. And do me a favor, please. Delete my number from your phone contact. So don't call me again. Please. Do you understand that? Why are women becoming more and more desperate and morally bankrupt? Oh, what may be kind of bonka? Why are not trying to work it? What do you know what the headmistress said? What did she say? She said that the headmistress said that I'll be, I'll be part of the students who will be traveling to England in August. She is impressed with her teachers. Wow. Are you serious? Yes. Are you serious? Yeah. Wow. Most importantly, I'm impressed by you, my little girl. You came tops in your class and top overall. That's really brilliant. You know, Daddy will be so happy with this good news. And he's proud of you, you know that? Good, 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 good. I'm so happy. You really, 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 really make me proud. Hmm? Hmm, that's good. Okay. Oh, that is calling. <laughs> Hello? Guess what? I hope you haven't changed your mind again about the overseas trip. Because I just finished seeing off the uh, travel agent who came to return your document. You know I won't change my mind, so forget it. Stop ranting, please. <laughs> guess what? So what is it you want me to guess? You know I'm not good with that. <laughs> your daughter, Lynn, is top in her class and top overall and the headmistress has chosen her to be part of the students traveling to the uk for an excursion in august <laughs> wonderful absolutely wonderful oh great i'm really proud of my daughter you see okay I'll, I'll buy her something special on my way home. I am very, very sure she's expecting something special from you. Mm -hmm. That's great. Um, what did you call? Nothing really. I just wanted to hear the voice of my queen and know that she's doing well with my girl. We are very good. Thank you for checking up on us. You're simply the best. No, 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 sweetheart. You are the best. I'm nothing without you. <laughs> You're my hero. I can do absolutely nothing without you. And if I were given the opportunity to choose, I would choose you over and over and over and over again. <laughs> Same here, my love. Same. You are a gift from heaven. I love you. I love you too. All right? Bye-bye.
Guess what? Daddy said he's buying you something special. <laughs> oh, I'm so proud of you. I'm surprised that you're back. My dear friend, I needed to come back. Hmm. That's not a problem, I know it. Please sit. Oh. So what do I offer you? Um, with the Marion. I think we should leave that for now. Or don't you think I wish to have a state of the art office like this and also ask my visitors what I would offer them? <sighs> my friend, we all cannot be merged at the same time. That is what destiny is all about. And besides, you're working towards that. Have you made use of the contact that I gave to you? Exactly why I am back. I was discouraged with the way that man spoke to me over the phone. He did not even allow me to say a word. No, 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 Lady Marion, it is not funny. If he can sound this way over the phone, what hope is there for me? Eh? Please. I came back here so that you can give me a better contact. I mean, something easier, someone I can assess easily. Oh, Gina. With just a phone call. I already told you that this man is not going to come back easy. But he's the best option for you because he's a giver. I want you to have him. I don't have time to waste. I have lost a lot of years. Me, mm -hmm. I need to start living life. Well, I need it. You know what? I'll be having a business meeting right now. And I'm not sure of coming back to this office today. So if you don't mind, you can join me so that when I'm done with all my business activities for today, we can sit down somewhere relax and talk about it. I'm with you. I don't have anything to do with my time. And I was saying, you need to give it your time and your best too. Work hard. But if I can remember very well. You told me that you tried all you could to make this man look your way, and you failed. That is true, and again, that was me. Like I said before, we are different. Your luck might be different. <clears throat> so tell me more, Lady Marion. What and what did you do and fail? Because. There is no need to waste time playing the same pranks that he would not fall for. You are too good for any man to take advantage of you. What have I not done to make him understand me? You see, the moment you try hard for somebody to understand you, that's the moment you realize that you don't need him or her. Tell me, Mr. Kocha, is it a crime to love a man and hope to be loved in return? Lady Marion, come on, pull yourself together. <laughs> he, he doesn't deserve your tears. If he makes you cry, then he doesn't deserve you. Every lady deserves to be adored and pampered by her man. <laughs> Look at me. Look at me. Age is no longer my friend. All my friends are setting me down and I, and I need to do the same. I, I need him. <laughs> Yeah, it, it, yeah, it's all right. Certainly you need a man, but from all indications, from everything you've just told me, he's not your man. He's not the man for you. I'm, I'm sorry. I was overtaken by my emotions. Please forgive me. What was I even thinking? Bothering you with my personal worries. It's all right. Um, you are more like a family friend to my wife and I, so... It's nothing. Just just pull yourself together, okay? Now, how about my application? Can we talk about it now? Oh, yes, oh, of course. I almost forgot why you are here. <laughs> this is it. Oh. Signed and delivered. Thank you. You and your family are already on your way to China. Thank you, Lady Mary. Mm -hmm. You're good. You know you're the best in this business. Really, you are. I also wish to be the best in your bed. That 
would be an automatic access to your money. Thank you again. All right. Okay, sir. Well, Mrs. Marion, I can see the offer clearly, but can you please explain them further to me? That offer is for people like you. Mr. Okosha, I personally took some slots out for you because you're special. No other travel agent can give you such an offer, but like I said, you're special to me. Get out. Excuse me? I'm not interested in your offer. So this meeting is over. Get out of my office. Excuse me, I'm sorry sir, but what did I do wrong? What was all that for? You are special to me, you are this, you are that. Who are you putting up that stupid, shameful act for? Excuse me sir, I, I think you misunderstood the action. I was only trying to explain things to you. All right. I have a copy of the offer now with me. I'll study it. If I am interested in it in any way, you can be rest assured that I'll be in your office. Good day. that I have not lost one of my most cherished clients. That would be very bad for this agency. Ever since that fateful day at his office, he has refused to take my calls. And we have not even heard from him either. I can afford to not have him as I want but certainly not as a client. Hmm. Maron, think. Think. You have to do something to remedy this ugly situation. I've already done that. Mm. I can't help you. I'm sorry. There must be something you can do right there. I cannot leave this office without seeing your boss. Not when I'm certain that he's still right there in the office. I'm talking to you. My boss says he has no appointment with you. And therefore cannot see you. What do you expect me to do? Force you in there? Look, madam, I suggest you book an appointment. Then you can come back. She forced herself in. It's all right, Mirabel. Go back to your duty post. I'll take it off from here. Sit down, Lady Marion. I said sit. Or are you here to play your usual pranks again? Sit. You misunderstood my intentions. I knew you cut off all forms of communication because of the wrong assumption. Come on, what wrong assumption? What wrong assumption? Lady Marion, I'm a man. A full grown man who understands when a lady is looking for avenues of being close to a man. And this is exactly what you've been displaying lately. You know I'm not cut out for such crap. 
This is where you got it wrong. Very wrong. I have never had any bad intention against you. I was only enjoying the good client relationship I have with you. That is all. By seducing me, right? Come on. <clears throat> Mr. Okocha, your wife and I know each other very well. As a matter of fact, I have grown to like her a lot. There is no way I can do what you're suggesting. I was simply being free-minded with you. But since you have a problem with that, I will try to keep it strictly official. That would be nice. And that's exactly what I want. So that it would be good for everybody concerned. Mrs. Miriam, the truth is that your company hasn't given me any cause to look elsewhere. And I believe that you are equally enjoying my patronage. So let's keep it at that. Strictly official. So that this business relationship that I have with you will thrive. Secondly, and most importantly now, I love my wife. And so I have no time for any other woman. Please. I know that, and um, I respect you a lot for that. But trust me, I have the intention of coming between you and your wife. It was just a, a case of misunderstanding. All I just told you is a tip of the iceberg. When I realized that I was losing a big client, my dear, I have to act wisely. But come to think of it, why would you even go after his money? I mean, you, you're not someone who needs money from a man. You are made already. <laughs> Gina, you and I know that what you just said now is nonsense. No. It is not nonsense, Lady Mary. I mean, you run one of the most famous travel agencies in town. My dear, let me tell you something. You can never get enough from one source. You need to keep gathering as much as your hands can reach. Anyway, we are not here to talk about that. Hmm? We are here to talk about how to get you... Well... I, I, I'm having to rethink. Because if you could do all those things to get this man, and you failed, then there is no need for me to bother. You don't have to. See, you have to give it your time and your best first. You don't have to give up like that. Come on. Gina, I did not say all this to demoralize you. I personally recommended this man to you because I know what he can do for you when you get him on your hook. So try your best because he's going to place you where you desire to be. Just uh... Is this a curse or something? Why has my life been like this? All my efforts to get a reasonable man to set me up like other girls have failed. Am I not beautiful enough? Look at JC, Anne, Juliet and even Miriam. All my friends that are not as beautiful as I am are all made. They were all made by men. What do they have that I don't have? Men even admire me more. Why are they making money from men and men are simply using me for free? There is surely something you are not getting right. Trace and find it before your beauty vanishes. As I sailed into the spiritual world, a lot of things were revealed to me. 
I tried to make a case for you, but I lack the words to speak in your favor. You have disappointed me. How do you mean, sir? You came highly recommended. I am here because I was told that you can make things work. Why are you disappointed? I only start when a woman has exhausted the powers in her. You have not done anything and yet you seek for the assistance of Grant, the deadly priest of the inner temple of depravity. Well, I called this man and we had a skeletal discussion over the phone. With the way he handled the phone conversation, he has already shown me the kind of man he is. They say he is a monk. I want something strong that can hold him where I want. I mean something stronger than the monastery. Face to face is better than a letter. And in the same vein, face to face is better than a phone call. You must try and see him face to face and engaging with undiluted seduction. That is the magic. So you are promising me that if this seduction fails, you will grant me the powers of the inner temple of depravity? Here in the temple of depravity, we don't make empty promises. First, you must try and see him and show him the woman you are. And remember, my name is Grant, the weird and deadly priest of the inner temple of depravity. I have dined and wine with the lords of evil. I have come face to face with Lucifer, the most beautiful woman that was banished from heaven. She's indeed a woman. You must exploit the woman in you. And what that is done, you can hire the... If I fail, then I will introduce you to Lady Lucifer. You told me about our daughter's resort is so impressive. Oh, yes. I'm so impressed. Ah, I'm my daughter. I am more than impressed. And I'm you know, I wouldn't spare any expense for her to get the best of education. I would. I'm happy you're sounding this way. I am more than impressed because education is key. And if someone in any family shows any trait of brilliance, it is better we pursue that person's dream with every resource we have Absolutely. so that it's actualized. And in this case, it is lame. Mm -hmm. So, I'm oh, happy yeah. oh, yeah. something like oh, yeah. <laughs> Although I, I'm a bit worried about what Pastor Henry said. Why? Where is your faith? Where is your faith? Things like this shouldn't bother you at all. He has given the prophecy and God is on our side. We're praying. When prophecies like this come, it's not as if they're going to happen. It's just for us to be prepared and pray so that it does not happen. So that he has seen it means we already have the victory. Okay? So don't, don't shake. Let it not bother you. God is in control. He will always stand for his own. You know, he says we should call upon him and he is there to answer. Uh, and that's what we're doing daily. Uh, I, I, I understand, I fully understand. And I'm up on a mother camp. Hmm? A mother camp. Well, I'm always happy when you talk to me like this. It not only calms me down, it comforts and soothes my nerves. I'll forever be grateful to God for giving me a woman like you as a wife. Stop talking like that. What am I here for? What's my job if I don't talk to you and, you know, 
I'm your helpmate, okay? Well, not all men as, as lucky as I am. <laughs> well, look at that. Look, okay, I just came in and I didn't know where you quickly made this fruit salad. Me too. Some men have never tasted anything like this in their houses. Instead, <laughs> the wife would put fire where there's kerosene already leaking. Mm. Okay. So, I thank God for you. I thank God for you too. You're my provider. If you didn't provide this, wouldn't, you know? Like they say, if you give a woman a house, she'll give you a room. This one is better than home. <laughs> I'm sure you say no because you hardly do things. To do. Good morning. Good morning. Um, I'm so sorry to bother you, but I don't know if you could give me a ride to Osborne Roundabout. Osborne Roundabout? Why don't you take a taxi? Cabs are a little bit expensive on this side of the town. You don't want me to ride with you? Well, uh, I'm sure expensive taxis won't charge more than 1,000 naira. So here, take a taxi. Why are you giving me money? I could, I could ride with you actually. No, I'm not in the habit of giving a uh, ride to strangers, especially ladies I don't know. You must try and see him face to face and engage him with undiluted seduction. That is the magic. I don't understand why you want to back on that. And what do you want to achieve when you get there? Don't worry, Lady Marion. Leave that to me. Tina, I fear that I might get myself in trouble if I give you that information. Are you turning me down or what? I'm not turning you down, but I don't know why... I don't understand why you want me to give you this. Don't think I have lost my senses. I still have it up here. I mean, Lady Marion, you asked me to do my best. And that is exactly what I am doing. And um, don't you think this is a little bit extreme? <laughs> no, don't look at me like way and don't misunderstand me. I know why I'm saying this. In as much as I want this for you, I do not want to get implicated in any way. Remember that I still have my business to protect. Trust me, you will not be affected in any way. Please. How? No, convince me why I must do this. No, 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 no. Why are you giving me the impression that you don't trust me? Do you think I would do anything to implicate you? Do you think I'm a daft? Are you giving it to me or not? Why is this stubborn? Why? Just as stubborn as the other girls that are getting results. Lady Marion, I have been too lenient and gentle with my approaches. That is why I am not getting results. You will give me what I have asked of you and you will give it to me now.
this will certainly do it. I think I have it already. Good. Step three down. Operation four on the way. This will hopefully get me somewhere. Hopefully. I actually came to discuss something with you. I'm in the same line of business as your husband and as a senior colleague I want him to help me. I don't know if you can give me some audience so I could explain better. Uh, I don't know what to say young lady. You should have gone to my husband's office. I, I don't um, I, I don't meddle in his affairs. His business is his business and he doesn't bring work back home. I really don't know how I'm going to help you with this. You will understand when I'm done explaining, please. Oh, Lady Marion. Shall we drink to my anticipated success? <laughs> That's for you. Not when I don't even know what you've done. I hope you have not gone out to do something silly. Oh, come on, Lady Marion. Don't be silly. See, Gina, you don't understand how restless I've been. Trying to figure out what you need a Salah's house address for. So please, enough of the suspects already. What have you done? Well, I needed to try another method. Since this monk would have nothing to do with another woman, I needed to try something different. Which is? Am I in the question doc for cross-examination? What is this inquisition all about? Let's talk about something else. No, I came here for this sole purpose. I have never known peace ever since you left my office with that address. So please, spill the beans. What have you done? <laughs> Come on, what was that for? Speak now or I do something silly. Well, if you want me to speak, you need to hand me back my juice. Okay, well, come and take it. Oh, you wouldn't give back. Okay. Well, I have another pack of that juice in there. So I'll go get it. <laughs> very soon. You know it. Oh. <laughs> well. To satisfy your curiosity, I went to his house. Yes. And I met with his wife. Are you okay now? <laughs> no, you didn't. For what? She needs your help. Let's read the letter. Well, I, I don't know who this person is. She made you believe that she works in the same industry with me, but her name doesn't ring a bell at all. I know. Just read the letter. She made me read that letter as to understand why she needs your help. So please just read it. My name is Gina. I am a young woman trying to survive in the oil and gas industry that is heavily dominated by men. 
I came to you because I know you command respect in the industry. I have been in small business with Oronto Vessels Limited. This is a company based in Wari. The chairman is Chief Oziobolo. He knows you very well and he holds you in high esteem. I told him that I would like to be considered for something bigger than what I now do. And he told me that I cannot pull a bigger business through. I simply need you to call Chief Obolo and tell him that you know me. I need you as a reference, sir. It would assist me. Well, the truth is that I don't know who this person is. I don't know any company called Oronto Vessels Limited. I also don't know any Chief Obolo. I don't want to do business with total strangers. You know how these things turn out. What does the Bible instruct about strangers? What does the Bible say about helping strangers? See it as what you're doing. Look, there's no harm in extending a hand of kindness. Okay? Just look at it this way. How would it be if you hear that she went to her church to give a huge testimony about her, how successful her business went because you extended your hand of help, your kindness. Thank you, dear, and it's all for you, your God-given gifts that will last forever. Mm. And that is why I get down on my knees every day thanking God. I cannot ask for more. Yeah, sure. Mm. <laughs> um, you didn't give me a definite answer to what we talked about yesterday. Definite answer to what? Gina's request, the letter you read. Oh, that. I don't know why you are insisting on me helping this girl. I don't know her. I don't see why. You don't have to help her, but you know more blessings come from just, you know, throwing favors to people who cannot repay. <sighs> this Gina girl must be so smart that she had to go through somebody that I can't say no to, and that's you. So, is that a yes? Yes, because yes. You're, you're practically forcing me to. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Lynn! Daddy's ready to take you to school. Now she's asking me to go because I've granted her request. A full woman of mine. <laughs> Dad, good morning. Mom, I'm ready. Morning, oh, darling. Oh, sweetie. I know. How are you? So, uh, let's chop chop. Let's go. Get the number from that letter and then call the client, ask her to see me today. Yes, sir. I don't know what you told my wife. Because suddenly she has turned your solicitor and advocate. I'm doing this just because of her. Well, I did not tell her anything. I only told her about my case and I believe she saw my helplessness and decided to make a case for me. Sincerely, I owe her one. But, but why are you giving me money? I could, I could ride with you actually. Can you remove your glasses please? You don't like my glasses? Who are you? And what do you want? Why? Why are you tensed? Is there any problem? Don't push me. Because you wouldn't like my next line of action. Leave my office. I, I should leave your office. But we haven't even discussed the business I came here. You have no business to discuss. I know your likes. You are a scammer. I'm ashamed of you. 
beautiful girl like you to get involved in such in such dubious business. Leave my office right now. But I, I... Get out! Before you elect to stand in the gap for someone, please try and understand that person. Spend some time with that person. That lady is a scammer. Are you serious? What did she do? What happened? Now I'll brief you when I get back home. But just in case she comes there, please don't give her any attention. I believe that she was sent by some people. So the sooner you give her little or no attention, the better for us all. Nobody is born a bitch. Men are the ones that turn babes to bitches. Silas the monk. You just turned me into a bitch. I am not in the habit of jumping the gun. Let's hope he set his eyes on the picture. And when that is done, the malevolences that constitute the apostles of the inner temple of the privity will take over. And once they take over, they will make him restless. And he shall be restless until he satisfies you. Please, I need you to use your powers to make this work. I left the picture there, and I'm very certain that he will see it. I need this man. I want him. I mean, this man is made. He is the only person that can help me to start up my life. You started your life the moment you stepped your foot into the temple. Good is the problem. And that is why a lot of good people die young. We chose the path of evil because a lot of good things come through evil means. Let's hope he set his eyes on the picture. And once that is done, and if it fails, you hire the services of the rascal to burn down this, this temple. And if it works? Leave that as an open-ended topic. The bottleless pit is simply the imagination of fools. I will show you the power and the mystery surrounding the bottleless pit. To the bottleless pit. Don't you sit? Gina, what happened to your phone? Oh. Here. Yeah. Did you hear my phone was kidnapped? This is not funny, Gina. Do you realize that I was almost leaving before you came in? 
I have called you several, you don't take your course. Then I have to come over here. Well, here I am, my lady. What was the call for? You have been totally unavailable lately. You don't pick my calls. You don't even call me. You don't visit. And look at you, girl. You look messed up. I hope this is not about silence. Why do you laugh? Wait a minute, Maria. Are you monitoring me now simply because you gave me a contact? Gina. Anyway, I'm not surprised you talk like this. Because there's no other person that can be more unreasonable like you. Hey! Listen. You would not come here and insult me. I won't take it. Gina. You don't have to be like this. You know what I'm talking about. You know it. I, I don't understand you, Maria. What do you take me for? You were happy with the way I was wasting my life with men that weren't taking me as a project? Men that were having me for free? Is that it? Gina. I gave you this contact we are talking about. And you know that I wouldn't do if I don't mean well. And now that I am working on that contact, you seem to be having a problem with it. Please. I had a very long day. And a very tiring one at that. I need to rest. Meet me inside if you wish. I hope I did not make a mistake giving her this address. I even went as far as giving her the house address. And now she's acting up. And won't even as little as brief me on her progress. Hey! I hope that I have not made a treble mistake. See, I'm perfectly okay. Let's also go back to work. I think I should get going now since you're not in the mood of talking.
Hello. Hello. Can I speak with Gina? Yes. This is Gina. Who am I talking with? I'm sorry. As I speak to you now, I'm looking at your picture and wondering why I had to order a beautiful lady like you to leave my office. Please come back. Don't say no. Please. Well, I'm sorry, my dear. I'm home already. I can't come back to your office. Um, my place is very far from your office. Oh, distance is not a problem. Just give me the address. I'll be there. I can't let today end without seeing your beautiful face again. Okay, just um, give me some minutes, I'll call you back. I showed them the SMS you sent me and then they directed me here. It's as simple as that. Thank you. Oh. 
So what do I offer you? something very important okay and don't keep calling like a school kid running my battery down I won't tell you this again what is wrong with you are you okay this is someone like you I, you're not talking as if it's you ah, what makes you think that I don't sound like myself huh? please give me some space you to spend the night here. Maybe go back into the room and do something. <laughs> I doubt if I'll ever be tired of you. You are the true definition of a right man. Well, it won't be too much asking to have you all to myself. Well, I feel the same way, my dear. But, <laughs> I just have to go. Why?
<laughs> the best woman in the world. You have really made my day. Time. You know, you are still too young to understand anything, but you should be in bed by now, okay? I'll go to bed. Hmm? Good night. you allow a child to be awake by this time? What are you hoping to achieve? What? Silas, I have this feeling that something is not going on well with your business. Why don't we talk about it? I'm your wife. We can pray about it. There's nothing prayer cannot fix. No, 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 so no, 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 listen to me, Elizabeth. I am fine and my business is doing great. Okay? I have so much on my mind and there's so much I need to do tonight. So if you don't mind, give me some space. Cut me some slack. We used to be happy together. Our home was filled with love and laughter. In the mighty name of Jesus, Every plan of the enemy to bring discord between my husband and I will not stand in the name of Jesus. Every plan to break this home will not stand in the name of Jesus. The Lord God will, will, <clears throat> the Lord God will keep this family standing in the name of Jesus. Every divination, every enchantment concerning this family will not stand. You shall come in one way, but in several ways you will flee. Every plan from the evil one concerning this family, concerning my husband, concerning his business, Concerning my child will not have, will not will, will not work in the name of Jesus. I break your plans. I shatter it by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, every plan of the enemy will not work in the name of Jesus. The Lord will seal this family in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus, oh Lord God, I soak my family members. I soak my husband in the blood. I soak my daughter in the blood. I soak every hey, Jesus. I warned you in this house to be careful. This is my house. This is where I prepare all my business plans and proposals. So I demand 100% concentration in this house. If you must pray, then go back to your father's house and pray there. Do you hear me? Silence. You slapped me because I was praying your pregnant wife. This is simple instruction. My friend, my boy, I don't know. Jesus, this is what Pastor Henry saw. This is what he saw. Oh, God. Who are these evil people and what do they want from us? What do they want? Oh God, Jesus. Jesus, come and fight for me. <laughs> Dad, good morning. Won't you have your breakfast before you leave? Breakfast? Your breakfast is poison. Don't serve me again. Okay, Lynn, follow your daddy. Don't even try that. Don't try it. 
Daddy, you don't take me to school. If your mommy doesn't want to take you to school, stay there. It's an hour. There's, there's nothing wrong with daddy. He's just having um, um, some stress at work. Okay, mom. Would you take me to school? Of course, I'll take you to school. Let me get the car keys. Well, what is it, Mirabel? Well, of course, but I've already told you not to keep her waiting. It's all right. Let her come in. I have this impression that you are a troublemaker. Do you want to see the real me? <laughs> but I can't help it, but thank God for giving me someone like yeah. you. I'm sorry to bother you, it's just that something came up. Lynn eventually didn't go to school today again and I'm not happy about it. Person. You of all people know that. I got ready to take her to school, but the car wouldn't start because the battery has run down. I called a taxi to take us to school, but before the taxi got here, it was already late for her to go to school, so I didn't bother. Please, the only thing I called to tell you is just for you to buy a battery when you're coming back from work, or at least send someone from the office to do it. What do you even contribute to my life? I tell you straight away, you are a burden. Very brilliant. Just try. Don't do this to me. Please tell me. What is okay. it? Why okay. all the excitement? Yours truly, 
is now the regional marketing head southeast i've been promoted <laughs> This is not good for us. Oh. This is not good for us, my dear. You're not happy for me? You don't... It's good news. Please don't misunderstand me. Okay? You know, we are trying to build a family. I don't want anything to come between us. But that's, that's my worry. Sweetheart, nothing can ever come between us. My, are you insinuating my job will come between us? It can't. My family comes first. You come first. So no, let it not worry you. My work can't, can't come between us. You, you know I have never really liked this idea of you working. Oh. I can cater for my family. You see, I, I want a quiet wife that I can love all my life. With this job, you won't be that quiet life that I want to have around all the time. Silas, Silas. It's me you're talking about. It's me we're talking about here. I made first class in marketing. I went to the best university in this country. I am in hot demand. I don't, I don't get it. Are you trying to tell me that you want me to pocket my certificate and sit at home as a full-time housewife just making babies? Honey, what is it that you cannot do for me? I don't want this job. Okay? We're trying to build a family. And, see... My, my company has the capacity to grow and be bigger than what they are offering you. Our family is much more of importance to us than all this. That's what I want you to understand. Jesus. I never said you've not been praying. Meaning, if you've been praying for 30 minutes, now I pray for her. That the love between you and your wife had attracted envy from evil dwellers who gathered in secret places to reap where they never sowed. That's five million naira. I hope it will be enough for the business. Okay. Well, your happiness is the only thing that counts to me now. I want to do everything to make sure you're smiling. I'm glad. I'm glad you are. Uh -huh. Are you still interested in that worry business? I can give them a call if you want. They will do something once they know I'm involved. You see? <laughs> this is why I say that you, you are better than that evil woman that I married. She's the reason I'm still on this level. I would have gone far, far, far if I had someone like you as a wife. No, no, don't mention it. You don't mention it. You are the light that brightens my path. And I'm glad I met you. Seriously.
inviting my friend to my office has suddenly become urging her around. And by that you mean? Shouldn't I be able to have a seat? Okay, first off, what can I offer this? Gina, I want to believe that you're putting up all this attitude to amuse me. Come on, what is that? Are you okay? Are you alright? I know that you have been talking with this man. The other day I was in your house when he called. So, why are you keeping me in the dark? Why do I have this? Why is she this elusive lately? And why do I have this feeling that she is up to something nasty? China. you're the beginning and the end. I thank you because you're my creator, you're my father. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Blessed be your name forevermore in Jesus' name. Father, oh Lord God, at this point, I continue to lift my husband into your hands, oh Lord God. Father, I ask, oh God, that your hand will continually rest upon him. Father, you said in your word that you have the heart of kings in your heart, in your hand, and you turn them which way it pleases you. Father, oh Lord God, turn his heart to face you. Turn his heart to please you and do your will. Father, let him do, oh Lord God, according to your will, all that you have designed and planned for his life, oh God. Father, oh Lord God, make his pathway straight, oh Lord God, every crooked way straight. Let him walk in your will and in your way, in the name of Jesus. You are awesome. You are awesome. There is no one like you. You are worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Blessed be your name forevermore. Awesome God, mighty God, I give you praise. Awesome God, I give you praise, mighty God. I want this man. I 
want him to be mine. I want him to marry me. I know all that. I know he has a wife. But this temple should have the powers to make a man throw out his wife and marry someone who has already humbled herself as a believer to this temple. Why are you telling me about it? I already have the exact man I want. I want him to throw her out and marry me. That is what I want. And that is what I should have as someone who is obedient to this temple. I refuse to accept that position, sir. She is clinging onto this man, and that could change things for me. I want her out. Find a way to throw her out of his life. That is what I want, and that is what you would do for me. If it will expose me to living Lucifer, I'm ready to face her. The only thing I am going to say to you is that there is a way forward. But I want to ask you an important question and I want you to answer me sincerely. How prepared are you? Grant, your master already told me that there is nothing he can do for me. I came back to you because you have shown me that you possess some powers. And I know that you are a businessman. Don't say some powers and give me the impression that you underestimate me. That is not good. I am a man that possesses serious powers. And there is something you need to know about Grant. He is a man that wines and dines with the Lord of Darkness. Grant has slept with Lady Lucifer not once, not twice, but countless number of times. He is a man that controls enormous powers, but he is being very careful because the Lord of Darkness can kill at the slightest provocation and I believe he doesn't want to die. But the truth is that he can do all things if he decides. So what are you saying exactly? That I should go back to Grant? That is not possible. I already told you that he said he cannot do anything for me. He wants me to leave that woman alone, and that is very unacceptable by me. I came to give you this. What you see here is an apostle. The contents may look like sand, but it is no longer sand. That is the very apostle that will do the magic for you. And what am I supposed to do with this? Spread it. Along the path, you are sure that she is going to pass. Your problem with that woman is that she prays too much. And she believes that all things are possible with prayers. Such, such women are very, very dangerous in the metaphysical world. 
you spread this thing along the path that she's going to use and this will make her pray less. When she's praying less, then we can manipulate the man. Let me tell you something. Unless men are manipulated, they hardly cease to love their wives. <laughs> so how am I supposed to use this apostle of yours? Because I want him to leave her and marry me. You have to spread it across the path that you know she is going to use. On it. Let her just walk past this and, and everything shall be emptied into her. And when that is done, the loss of the metaphysical world will take over. They don't disappoint. So what happens if I spread it and someone else walks across it? That is not a problem. Any other person can step on it. Any other person can cross it. Even you yourself, in the process of spreading it, you can actually step on it. It is not going to be a problem because it is specifically made for her, Elizabeth. Her name, her soul, her body, her spirit, everything. They are already caged in that metaphysical entity you are holding. Let her walk past it and you are going to see what is going to happen. I have done it for several women in the past and it never disappointed. <laughs> Come back and give me a result when you are done. Set with me where he is now. Why would you say that, my dear? You know, um, he. When Silas came to marry me, he never liked the idea. He didn't like the idea. He said there was something about Silas he didn't trust. He went further to tell me to hold on for a while, let him pray about it. But I refused. From the look of things, Uncle, my father might just be right because Silas is proving him right. I know from your statement that all is not well between you and your husband. Hmm? Talk to me. Trust me. Hmm? It looks as if everything my dad feared about Silas is what's happening. I'm not sure about it, but I have a feeling Silas is keeping another woman somewhere. Come and see me tomorrow. I'll be home all day. She's heavily pregnant, my lord. She cannot risk the long journey. I'm suggesting we go and see her tomorrow. Please. You know about this? Yes. She called me first, and I asked her to call you. You know you trained her through the university. She had a father quite right, but you are the father she has. My dear, she's going through a terrible time, and I think we should do something. Uh, uh, hello? Um, uh, don't worry, I, I'll, I'll call you back, okay? Thank you very much, Uncle. Thank you very much. God bless you. Salas is gradually destroying my life. No, my dear. Huh? Uh, women like you are in short supply. Refuse to be destroyed, okay? Tomorrow is bigger than today or yesterday. Okay, um, I will call you back, all right?
Do you really think we have to go and see her? From the way she sounded, we have no choice. I may not be able to go with you, but I think you should go and see her. remember the rules. I was set free from the consciousness of rules the very moment I was excommunicated. You may be excommunicated quite all right, but the powers you wear still belong to us and you must act accordingly. Please, let us get it straight. I am not under any obligation to listen to anybody or to obey any rules. I am my own master now. I set up my own rules and I follow my own rules. I don't even know why you invited me here. Because your greed for money is so much. And that is why you were pushed away from your brethren. You love money so much. Remember what the holy book says. That the love for money is the root of all evil. I can't believe this. You, Grant. You who slept with Lady Lucifer to the best of my knowledge. You who wine and dine with all the evil powers in the metaphysical world. You are the one preaching to me, telling me about the holy books. Is it the kind of joke or what? I may not have the leniency to warn you again. That woman you wish to hurt because of that ingrate is innocent. And you cannot continue with what you want to do. You said it already. No problem that I, I am greedy, that I love money so much. It is my business, not yours, sir. Her being innocent is standing between my money and I. And now I have made up my mind to go all out and hit my money. That's what I want to do. Go out and hit my money. Okay? Go ahead then. I only wanted to be sure you know exactly what you're doing. And it is done to me that you know what you are doing. Go ahead and satisfy your vanity and lust. Do you know what, sir? Please, le le let me just make it clear. Leave me alone. I am no longer a member of your temple. I am now an authority unto myself. Concentrate in your own temple and allow me to live my life. Do not monitor me again. Cut off the link, please.
Hi. Hi. Oh, Gina, right? Very correct. How are you? I'm doing fine. You're looking so good in your pregnancy. Thank you very much. <laughs> Come inside. Um, I actually got you some things. They're in the car. Really? Yes. Could you please come help me? It's just my little way of saying thank you for what Aww. your husband did for me. Thank you very much. That's so nice of you. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Are you... are you alright? I don't know. I feel as if... something just left me. Um, uh, that's scary. But I don't understand that. I don't even understand what I just said. It's just the way I feel. Um, you know what? Oh. Don't bother yourself. I'm sorry for even asking you to come and help me. It's okay. Worry, it's just... okay. I can still... I can no, no, still... no. It's okay. Go in. I'll handle it. I'll bring it all in. Okay. Okay? All right. You're sure you're fine? Yes, I'm fine. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. I wasn't really expecting anything from you at all. I was shocked when I saw those things. Thank you. Thank you don't need to thank me. In fact, I should be the one thanking you. Regardless of the fact that you do not know me, you still decided to assist me. I will forever remain grateful. Thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. I am so glad that my little help put a smile on somebody's face. Hmm? But I'm, I'm shocked. My husband didn't even mention that he ended up assisting you. Um, it's possible he believes that what he did was nothing. But none of this would have been possible if he did not come in. Thank you. I can't wait to share the testimony with him. He'll be so, so happy that he did something good for someone. And it will encourage him to help other people. Um, I would prefer you keep this to yourself. Why? From the little I know, he is not the kind of man that would want to be praised for anything he does. I came simply to tell you that I am not an ingrate. I would appreciate it if you allowed this testimony to end with you. Please do not mention it to the boss. If you say so, only because you begged. If not, my, I know I, I, I can't keep my lips. I can't keep such things from, from him. I wish I could. Is he the one you're calling? Yes. He's not picking my calls. I want to tell him not to bother buying fruits, that we have fruits in the house. Okay, um, maybe he's busy. I pity him. He has so much work to do in that office. My husband is not too busy for me. He can never be too busy for me. No matter how tight his schedule is, he always finds time to call me every now and then. But in recent times, I don't know what has come over him. He doesn't even pick my calls. Sorry to bother you, my issues. I shouldn't be. I don't know. I shouldn't be stressing you or telling me things about me. It's okay. Give me my phone. Hello. Hello, Gina. I hope you'll find time for me tonight. I'd like to spend the night with you. Um. It's okay. It's you that says what will happen. Whatever you say stands. In that case, I'll see you tonight. My wife is beginning to give me stress so much so that I want to take a break from her. Um, it would be better if we talk about that when we see. Thanks for the call. I appreciate 
baby, you are simply the best. And I love you. I'll be on my way soon, huh? Okay. <laughs> um, I will have to leave now. Business. But you didn't finish your fruit. No, <laughs> next time. Okay, no problem. Let me walk you to the door. What's the matter with you? Huh? Why won't you allow me to concentrate in my own office? Why? Silas, Silas, what is this now? What is this? Why are you treating me as if I'm a nobody? What is wrong? That's exactly what you are. Nothing. Listen, you are disturbing my life. And I'm pleading with you to leave me alone. Leave me alone, woman. Silas, this is Elizabeth. Elizabeth, your wife. I'm your wife. Hey, shut up. Keep, shut up over there. Ah. Silas. Look on the The problem with that woman is that she prays too much and she believes that all things are possible with prayers. Such, such women are very, very dangerous in the metaphysical world. You spread this thing along the path that she's going to use and this will make her pray less. When she's praying less, then we can manipulate the man. Let me tell you something. Unless men are manipulated, they hardly cease to love their wives. It looks like you're thinking about something. What is it? Um, I'm, I'm thinking about life without you. It's really going to be tough for me. How can you be thinking about life without me when I'm lying here with you? <laughs> See, listen, my dear, we, we have a life together. That is what should be occupying your thoughts. Hmm? Don't worry, I'm, I'm here with you all the time. Oh! Why wouldn't this witch allow me some peace? Huh? Why? Look, 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 look. If you continue like this, I'll be forced to unleash her on you. Give me, give, give me a break. Allow me some time to rest. What horror can you unleash on your daughter and I that you already have not unleashed? Eh? Silas is 11. It's past 11. And the family man is yet to come back to his house. You know in the deepest part of your heart that you are doing something wrong. Are you not a fool to call me and talk about what is wrong and right? Eh? What the hell do you know about wrong and right? Please, I will say this again. Don't call my number again, okay? Wait, wait. Tell us, where are you? God will punish you there. Mom, I think I need to do you know we have not been praying like we used to pray? Did you just see that? 
You know what I'm saying, man? We have a problem, and prayer will solve this problem. Exactly what Pastor Henry saw. I wasn't praying enough. And I don't know why something is. Okay, okay. Thank God I have someone like you. In fact, you are the very epitome, the personification of peace. I'm glad I have you. This isn't you. I keep praying that you become the man I married. Get out. I said get up and get out of this room. Right now! Why? Don't let me track you up. Get out!
chill. Any breakfast, I know how to go about it. Okay? Wait, wait. I got to call from the headmistress. So? What was my business about that? I had to call because other students who were supposed to who are supposed to go to the UK for the discussion and pay their own three hundred thousand now. I see. Well, if you want your daughter to join her colleagues to UK, fine. Pay them the money. I don't have it. You know something? You are such a pest. I don't even know how on earth I ended up with you, a big burden, as a wife. I don't know. Sellers, please, please, sellers. But you're not the one that told me to stop working. What is this? Call me. But you're not the one that told me to stop working. You told me to stop working. You know I made a first class in marketing. And I was doing well as a marketing manager. Then you told me to stop. You were the one that told me to stop working. Will you stop all these lectures? Because I'm not down with it. Stop. You're not down with it. Oh, yes, I'm not. Not at all. Sellers, it, it is very obvious you now hate me. And I don't know why. I have never disobeyed you. Neither have I ever offended you in any way. What, what, what is all this? Eh? What have I done to deserve this? I am not talking to you or begging for anything for myself. I'm just talking about your daughter. Do something, let her travel with her mates. That's all. Hello, darling. Hello, my dear. Where are you? Are you not coming again? I've been waiting for you for the past 20 minutes. No, no, no please. Um... Don't be, don't be, don't be angry. Just give me one minute, one minute. You see what you have cost? You see what you are costing? Don't you ever, ever stand in my way again. I will. Don't. Um, I, I'm already on my way. Actually, I'll, I'll be with you in a jiffy. Hmm? All right. My dear, don't be angry. I'm actually already on my way. All right. Silas. Silas, what did you, okay, you didn't buy the battery. How am I going to be using that car? Won't you at least drop your, your daughter in school? Mm. Are you not going to drop your daughter in school? Oh, so now she's my daughter. She's not your daughter, right? Well, if you won't drop her in school, Guinea not alone ever. Why do you expect me to drop her in school? Why do you expect me to drop her in school? Why do you expect me to drop her in school? Why do you expect me to drop her to school today. Aren't you at least going to let me into the house, our house? Let you into which house? Oh. Okay. I actually came to discuss something with you. What I'm in the same line of business as your husband. And as a senior colleague, I want him to help me. I don't know if you can give me some audience so I could explain better. Is this you? 
Gina. Gina. So, it is you. I'm doing everything possible to understand what you are doing in my house. What do you want? What? Her house? Silas. You, you, you heard her. Don't you remember her? This lady, Gina came to me. She was the one who came to me, begged me to beg you to assist her. It's Gina now. Have you forgotten? You're a fool. You're a fool. 